Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Southeast Louisiana. I'm Reverend Larry Marie Heil, and I'm the spiritual director here. Happy Valentine's Day. We're so glad you decided to join us. We are a community of spiritual renegades, healing hearts and creating community. And we opt to live a conscious spiritual living life Hmm. So we begin our service with prayer. Hmm. Just tapping in today to that feeling of love that is surrounding the planet today. This day of Valentine's Day where love is on the minds of many. Hmm. This day when we treat each other maybe a little bit kinder and just feeling that sense of the divine as love right where you are. God is this infinite loving presence in each of our lives. And that love as expressions of the divine is our divine inheritance. And what I know to be the truth is there is something today in this service that has called you here by divine appointment whether it be the reading or the message or our ceremony that we're gonna do later on, there is something that is going to connect you with that infinite presence of love, even a little bit more than at this very moment. Hmm. So I am grateful. I'm grateful for this community. I'm grateful to be a part of this community. I'm grateful to know that all the love that God is lives right within me and right within each person on this planet because we are all connected in this web of life. Hmm. So it's from the gratitude that I release these words into the law of mind, spirit, and action because I know the truth that there is nothing but love that shows up on this planet in one way or another. And I know that God's already called all of these words good, already said yes. So I just let it be. I say amen. And let's affirm it together. And so it is. This next song is so appropriate for Valentine's Day. It's called In the Name of Love. Good morning, Southeastern Louisiana Spiritual Center. I love you all. So glad to be back. In the name of love, with a heart of grace, overflow in us and decorate this place. As it is below, so it is above. May we always stand. In the name of love When the veil is 
is gone, there's only one of us, only one. In the name of love, when the day is done, we will sing this song, all is one. In the name of love. name of love may we always be seeking out the best until we all are free living in a world we've been dreaming of may we stand as one in the name of love when the veil is gone there's only one of us only one in the name when the day is done, we will sing this song of this one in the name of love. Your part in the name, in the name of love, in the name of love. Simple, sing it with me again. In the name, in the name of love. time for celebration and healing. Our time in our service where we celebrate life and we pray for people who desire prayer. We begin with celebration, so I invite you to say aloud so that the whole universe can hear it, any event in your life for which you're grateful and joyful this week. And now we turn to the healing portion of our service. We're a community steeped in healing. So we pause now to pray for anyone who's not feeling the joy of life that we perhaps were just feeling. They're not feeling maybe that they have things to celebrate. And I truly love this part of our service because it's so in alignment with who we are. So let's pray. God is all there is. God is that love and that peace and ease and grace and freedom and so much more. And as an individual expression of the divine, each of us have within us all of these qualities of spirit. They're available to us right here and right now. And what I know to be the truth is that there are people on this planet right now that aren't embracing those qualities. So we stop for a moment and we create a circle of love. And in this community, we place in that circle of love anyone that we recognize within ourselves or for someone else that might need prayer. So I'm going to pause and I just invite you to say aloud, 
the names of all of those people that you want to include in our circle of love. I know that God is right where each of us happens to be, right here and right now, moving in through and as each of us. And I know that the divine has heard every name that we spoke, either in our hearts or aloud. And what I'd like you to do now is pause again, and from your heart to all of theirs, just send out love, knowing that the divine knows exactly how to distribute it. And what I know to be the truth is that anything that needs to be released within each of these people is being released now, be it disease of the mind, of the body, of the soul. I know that anything that's seeking to come forth and be lifted up can be lifted up. And that this release and this lifting up is healing whatever's called to be healed. I know that each of these people is feeling more deeply their connection with the divine right now. I have evidence of that, and I know it to be the truth for everyone that we place in our circle. So I'm so grateful to know that the God without is the God within me. The God without is the God within every person in our circle, every person in this community, and every person on this planet. And I'm grateful for that power of community prayer and what it means to the uplifting of the people on this planet. So it's from all that gratitude that I release this prayer into the law of mind, spirit, and action. Because I know that the divine, in all of its wisdom, has already called all of this good. Any heavy lifting that needs to be done to heal whatever needs to be healed, the divine is already taken care of. So I can just know it's already done, say amen, and together we can affirm it. And so it is. I invite you to join me for our community affirmation. My life's purpose is already within me, and I am committed to its unfoldment. I am here by divine appointment to join in a community that cares for one another, to be in a place that transforms people's lives, to remember the highest truth about myself, to learn spiritual tools for personal transformation, and thus to make the world a more joyful place. So this is our time for meditation. I invite you just to put down anything you're holding to relax into your chair, to release anything that is bringing you to this moment in time, and to forget about the future just for these next few minutes. We have a beautiful song today, Spirit's Prayer, and we thank Gary Lynn Floyd for the wonderful music. Hmm. Loving Spirit dwells in me This is my divinity As within, so without All I need Where there's error, let me love. May I have no fear. All the power, all the glory, I surrender. Let it. Be. 
loving spirit dwells in me now and evermore. So I invite you to allow that loving spirit to dwell in you. Remember a time in your life where you felt totally loved, loved unconditionally. And that is the loving spirit. That feeling is the spirit that dwells in you. So we just rest in Gary's music and allow that spirit to dwell in us and remind us to be our own Valentine.
And as we return from this meditation, we bring back with us that place in our hearts where spirit dwells, that feeling of unconditional love, that feeling of knowing the holiness of the divine. Loving Spirit dwells in me now and evermore. Good morning. My name is Robin Vi Carpenter Briscoe. A reading from Around the Year with Emmett Fox. This reading comes from a section speaking of the many aspects of God. God is love. God is not loving, but love itself. And it would probably be true to say that of all the seven aspects of God, this is the most important one for us to practice. There is no condition that enough love will not heal. The Bible deals with the nature of God. And as the scripture develops, the idea of God becomes clear until toward the end, it says, God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him or her. Uh, 1 John 4, 16. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love to one another. John 13, 35. Where there is fear, there cannot be love. The best way to rid yourself of fear is to realize divine love. If you love God, more than you love your microbe, your sickness, your grievance, your lack, or your fear, you will be healed. We all heard many stories of exceptional people who were able to go among wild beasts in the jungle without being hurt. And there are many other histories on records of people who passed through extraordinary dangers of other kinds quite unscathed. To realize God as love is a remedy for fear. Divine love never fails, but the important thing to realize is divine love must be in your heart and cannot operate from outside, so to speak. When your prayers are not answered, it must be because you have not fulfilled the conditions of the law. And 99 times in 100, it is because you were lacking in the sense of love for all. Practice love every day and watch your thoughts and watch your tongue and watch your deeds that nothing contrary to love finds expression there. Thank you. We're blessed to have a new song that Gary wrote with Amy Bishop, and it's called Know Me, Know You. Know me, know you. Know me, know you, love. 
You're the inspiration, the manifestation out of devastation. The truth, no me, no you, one, no me. No, you love. Got no limitation. I'm a new creation. It's cause for celebration. Born again. No, me. No, you. One, know me, know you, love. I look at me, I know God lives here. I look at you, and I look it in a mirror. Peace of desperation We can choose elation Love is our foundation So let's build No me No you One No me no, you love. Sing that with me. No, me. No, you one. Yeah. No, me. No, you love. One more time. No, me. No, you. No me, no you, love. No me, no you. No me, no you. Happy Valentine's Day. I want to thank Gary Lynn Floyd for all of the wonderful music for today and Robin by Carpenter Briscoe for reading. And we continue our February series today on Love is the Answer. Our topic focuses today on true love. Loving the holiness and the wisdom and the kindness and the grace that is right within you. And loving it enough to be your own Valentine. Last week, we talked a lot about love being the answer in any situation, in any conditions. But today on Valentine's Day, it's a fabulous time to focus on love in all situations regarding our own selves, what we might call self-love, knowing that love comes from within, decisively embracing our own loveliness, and choosing to carry love in our heart not only for other people, but for ourselves as well. So here's your question for the week. What is that one choice that you can make today to know God's love is the love you are and you have all the love you need right within you? It's your divine inheritance. So one more time. What is the one choice that you can make today to know God's love is the love you are, and you have all the love you need right within you. It's your divine inheritance. So today we celebrate Valentine's Day, and I suspect each of you know some version of the origin of Valentine's Day. History tells us that when Emperor Claudius II 
decided that single men made better soldiers than those with wives and children, that he outlawed marriage for young men. And then Valentine, realizing the injustice of that decree, defied Claudius and continued to perform marriages for the young lovers, and he did it in secret, and of course got found out. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered that he be put to death. According to one legend, an imprisoned Valentine actually sent the first Valentine greeting himself after he fell in love with a young girl that was possibly his jailer's daughter. And she visited him regularly during his confinement. Before his death, he wrote this letter to her and signed it from your Valentine, which we know is an expression that we still use today. And although the truth behind the origin of Valentine's Day is a bit murky, the stories all emphasize an appeal of love and sympatheticness and heroic behavior. But most importantly, Valentine was a romantic figure. And we know that today's Valentine's Day is very much commercialized. Historically though, it was a single rose, not a dozen or two dozen roses that was sent to indicate a sign of love. And as I know, this day is one for people that are alone or by themselves or single, might embrace a little bit of loneliness and maybe perhaps even more than on other days, which is why it's so important that we understand how to be our own Valentine. In the meditation today, you were asked to connect with that loving spirit that dwells within you. You were asked to remember to bring back some time in your life when you felt really loved, when you recognized that it was the essence of all love, that it wasn't conditional at all. And what I know is that there is some part of us, some part of each of us that has never been injured and knows love at the core. Once again, when you think of that time, notice the feeling of love that comes to you. In Gary's song just a minute ago, he said, I look at me, I know God lives here. When we have that feeling of love within us, it's easy to know that God lives in us and that love lives here. You know, I was raised Catholic, and the ninth commandment is, Thou shalt not bear false witness. Well, I have no desire to be a preacher about the commandments, but I do have to say that the essence of this commandment is not talking just about other people. I was reading something the other day that was really interesting to me, and it was that this commandment applies to ourselves as well as to others. And I don't think in all my years of growing up Catholic that I'd heard anything about this commandment actually applying to how we view or talk about ourselves. Because when we label ourselves as dumb or not good enough or not smart enough or take on any trait or label that is not the truth, we are bearing false witness against ourselves. And that indeed is missing the mark, which is really the definition of sin. Poet Galway Kimmel writes this, Sometimes it's necessary to reteach a thing its loveliness. And February is a month that we typically are thinking a lot about love. How much time do we take to actually think about loving all of who we are? I think many of us fail to recognize that as expressions of the divine, Within each of us is this unshakable goodness, a holiness that comes from the depths of our beings, and a loveliness that really is the essence of who we are. Galway Kimmel is absolutely accurate. Sometimes it is necessary for us to be retaught our loveliness, retaught our holiness, our unshakable goodness. Reverend Gregory Boyle, who wrote the Tattoos on the Heart, wrote this. 
There is no force in the world better able to alter anything from its course than love. Meeting the world with a loving heart will determine what we find there. Change awaits us. What is decisive is our deciding. Last week we talked about being the maker of the world we see. Are you willing to be the maker of a world in which you embrace your own loveliness, in which you are decisive about meeting the world with a loving heart? In our reading today, you heard these words, divine love never fails. But the important thing to realize is divine love must be in your heart and cannot operate from outside, so to speak. Are you willing to be open-hearted enough to allow divine love to operate within you? In the 365 Science of Mind, Ernest Holmes wrote, love is the lodestone of life, the great and supreme reality. Love is the highest gift of heaven, the greatest good on earth, and the treasure of all our search. It is the end and aim of everything. And he continued later, we can all live happily, harmoniously, and successfully with one another when each of us practices a conscious recognition of the presence of love within ourselves and within everyone. I think the important words in that is that love is the lodestone of life because a lodestone is the support beam when they build structures. Love is our support beam. And also, each of us must practice this conscious recognition of the presence of love within ourselves. If you're willing to do that, to practice the love that's within you, great, you're in the perfect place today and divinely led to an experience that's designed just for you. With all the ways we know we can love, Self-love seems to be the one that escapes us the most frequently. And yet, among the most important words and the most repeated words of Jesus is love thy neighbor as thyself. So we have a ceremony in which we can commit to loving ourself and being our own Valentine. And I invite you to enter this process with an open heart. Welcome to this joyous occasion of celebrating you being your own Valentine. I invite you to find a comfortable place and just relax and let go of anything that occurred before this moment in time and release thoughts of the future so that you can just take a deep nourishing breath and be in the presence. And when you do that, just move your attention into your heart. John wrote in the Bible that God is love. And Jesus told us, it's done unto you as you believe. So we enter this ceremony by opening our hearts to what is yet to be, knowing that we're in the exact right place to be our own Valentine. You're all probably familiar with these words from Corinthians 13 and 14. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable, and it keeps no record of when it has been wronged. It is never glad about injustices, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. There are three things that endure, faith, 
hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Reading that about love, that aspect of the divine around which this day is based, I invite you to discover how to truly love yourself and love that aspect of you that is on this journey today. Jesus told us that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, is within you. And in Ideas for Living, Ernest Tome wrote this, The kingdom of heaven is in me. It is in you too, just as much of it, not more of it. My interpretation of it is my individualization of it. Your interpretation is yours. One is just as good as another. The kingdom of God is in each of us, and it cometh not with observation. It is awakening to things as they are. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. This song is from my heart to yours. Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Not just a place to get into someday far away. Be bold, it's something that you can tap into, a strength that'll help you to get through each day. By faith, oh, oh, behold, believe the kingdom of God is at hand within each woman and man. Believe, receive the truth that is setting. Miracle in you released, receive all, realize, open your eyes, behold, the kingdom of God is within you, and it's not just a place to get into someday, far away. Oh, oh, people, it's something that you can tap into, a strength that'll help you to get through each day by faith. Oh, oh behold, somehow. Look down inside you and find A love that's been there all the time Somehow, right now Somebody's broken and sad They need you to give what you have Right now, oh Far away Oh, oh, people It's something that you can tap into A strength that'll help you to get through Each day by faith Oh, oh, behold of God oh, oh behold 
Today, as we emphasize to be your own Valentine, I invite you to make a commitment to your spiritual self, to have a relationship with the kingdom of God that is within you, to awaken to all that you are, all the love, all the wisdom, all the power, all the peace, all the grace, all the love, anything that you consider to be part of how you envision the kingdom of God. Michael Beckwith wrote this, the moment you claim your ability to co-create with spirit, your human mind begins dissolving the false boundaries that previously kept you from consciously operating the law of co-creation. And these are the lines that he wrote that I think are the most pertinent. God has a gift to give the world as you, beyond what your surface mentality may sometimes see. So when you commit to discovering and expressing your faculty of divine creativity, what emerges is living and expressing from a deeper dimension of your being. This is real aliveness. So today I remind each of you to deepen your understanding of love's mystery as well as love's ecstasy. The mystery as we strive for our own individual goals, as we strive to really see all the love that we are. And the ecstasy as we embrace it, as we express our unique talents and really step fully into loving exactly who we are, all of who we are, everything we are. And I welcome you to join in that celebration of you. Be more than an observer. Be a true participant. And open your mind and heart to pour out a blessing on all of who you are. I invite you to stay in the process and listen closely to the words of the song that is coming up. Notice what the divine is whispering to you as you open your heart to the answers to the questions. You might discover exactly who you are and how you know the kingdom of God is within you and the gift that God is giving to the world as you. Just one life to live The gifts I have, great and small I give them all, I give I give Simply What is it that your soul is simply and purely giving to you? What is it spirit might need of you? What is it that you, as a vessel of the divine, might be willing to step up 
and B. Where might love be leading you? What is your heart telling you might be your way to serve your highest self? How might you easily open your heart to love the you that is the gift the divine has to give the world? What might you need to do to open your mind to the truth that lies right within you? How might you open your eyes to the beauty of the gifts that are the kingdom of heaven within you? What might be the gift your spiritual or higher self is handing you to hold? How might you accept the gift your spiritual or higher self is handing you to hold? Who is it you might be so as to express from a deeper dimension of your being, being really alive?
And from this day forward, be your own Valentine. The love you just experience gives you the strength to stand apart, to seek out your own unique destiny, to make your special contribution to the world. And as you put your love first, as you embrace yourself as your own Valentine, the choosing and the acting on your choices becomes easier and easier. By putting your love first, by welcoming you as your own Valentine, your awareness of the kingdom of heaven within you expands, as does your oneness with the divine and your oneness with all of life. If there's anything that you remember from this Be Your Own Valentine ceremony, let it be that it was love that brought you here today and it's only love that can make your life glorious. And it's by loving all of who you are that life becomes worth living. I'm going to invite you to read aloud this next letter and really embrace the words. And it might even help to put your hand over your heart. Dear, I ask you to hold me tenderly in your care, to honor me and cherish me, to celebrate all my gifts and powers, to comfort me in the difficult hours, to fill my heart and enlarge my soul, to walk with me in the path of service so I can fulfill my purpose on this earth. May I know every day that I belong, that I am loved, that I am loving. Imagine a world in which you know that love comes from within. When you look at yourself, you know that God lives there. A world in which you decisively embrace all your own loveliness. Divine love must come from our heart, and we have to embrace that. A world in which you choose to be your own valentine, knowing that love brings you to oneness with life, and love is always the answer. So here's your affirmation for the week. How is it that I so easily and willingly choose today to know God's love is the love I am and I have all the love I need right within me, my divine inheritance? Remember to behold the kingdom of God, which is everything each of us holds sacred within ourselves and it varies from person to person. So your challenge this week is to be your own Valentine today and every other day this week. 
not to look for love from the outside of yourself, but to know it's right where you are. Be the one who walks into the room and sees only love. And remember, you're the maker of the world you see. So this week, do something each day to remind yourself not to break that ninth commandment, thou shalt not bear false witness. And at least once each day, stop and be your own Valentine. Remember to love who you are, all of who you are. Check in at night just to see how you did for yourself. Ah, so let's pray. Infinite presence, infinite love, to whom each of us live and move and have our being on this Valentine Day, as each of us choose ourselves to be our Valentine, I know that your presence is here with each of us as it always is, supporting, loving, guiding each of us in all ways. Help each of us to remember that we can trust in Spirit's guidance. We can find strength in who we are and know that our faith is constantly sustaining us in all ways. And help us always to remember that the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us, and wherever we are, God is. Wherever we are, God is. So it's with great gratitude for knowing the holiness and the loveliness of the divine is always right where we each are that I release this prayer into the law of mind, spirit, and action, knowing that these words have already been heard, that the divine has already called it good and already called it done. So I can just say amen, and together we can affirm it, and so it is. The love of your spirit within me, I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal, bless, and prosper. It does good work in the world and returns to me, multiplied abundantly. From the love can find all of the information for donating at our website at cslsoutheastla.org. You can use the donate button there, or you can use Zella or Venmo at 225-287-8887. You can text your amount to 1-225-320-5100. Or you can mail your donation to CSL Southeast Louisiana, care of Reverend Larry Marie Heil, 445 Magnolia Wood Avenue, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70808. We thank you for your tithes and donations, and we appreciate the fact that you are giving gifts that are flowing out to everyone we touch. So I love this next song that Scary is singing. It's so appropriate for us to remember to take life in little steps, and it's called One Step at a Time. I invite you to join me on this song. 
There are a lot of words, but it kind of makes sense, so I think you'll catch on to it pretty quickly. It goes like this. Gonna climb this mountain. I won't stop till I get to the top. One step at a time. No doubt about it. I won't stop till I get to the top. One step at a time. Gonna climb this mountain. See it. Gonna climb this mountain. I won't stop till I get to the top. One step at a time. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I won't stop till I get to the top. One step at a time Sing it like you mean it Gonna climb Gonna climb this mountain I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time No doubt about it, no No doubt about it I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time Here's the second part Goes like this Leave behind what's weighing me down Wash away what's holding me back My heart is falling Face forward, feet on the ground Living in this courage i found The sky is calling Now we're back to the beginning Gonna climb, gonna climb this mountain I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time No doubt about it No doubt about it I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time It's kind of fun to sing, isn't it? Gonna climb, gonna climb this mountain Won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time No doubt about it I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time Leave behind what's weighing me down Leave behind what's weighing me down Wash away what's holding me back My heart My heart is falling Face forward, feet on the ground Living in this courage I found The sky, the sky is calling Here we go Gonna climb this mountain I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time No doubt about it No doubt about it I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time Gonna climb Gonna climb this mountain I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time No doubt about it No doubt about it I won't stop till I get to the top One step at a time 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 Yeah One step at a time One step at a time One more time One step at a time One step at a time sound great (laughs) so next week we continue on our love is the answer month and our service title for next week is love is calling i hope to see you there in between now and next week if you get a chance go out to gary's website and support him he's got a new 88 keys quarantine album that i think you will love i know i did And there's other music there as well, or you can just donate to his music. Thank you for joining us today. We invite you to like us on Facebook at Center for Spiritual Living Southeast Louisiana. And follow us on YouTube. Our channel is CSLSELA. You can also join us for our community time. You have a little bit of time to go grab coffee or tea and maybe a snack. Then dial in and join us for a live discussion. The conference line, which we use every week, is 515-604-9000. So put it in your phone 
with the participation code 475220. We begin with the discussion of the service and follow up with a process to help you dive more deeply into the concept of the day. We hope you'll join us. So in closing, just remember, Disney claims to be the happiest place on earth, but we at the Center for Spiritual Living in Southeast Louisiana absolutely know that we are the most joyful. And today on Valentine's Day, we just remind ourselves to always be our own Valentine, to always know that that kingdom of love that is the divine lives right within each of us. Because when we do that, we feel very much alive. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My spirit is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My spirit is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My spirit is Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, my spirit is alive.